projects. The fans saying that Reva is annoying or poorly written clearly do not know how great of a Star Wars character she really is. She could easily be in the top three characters of the entire franchise. Joby really nailed it with writing in this new villain. What and I the hope to see fuck is this guy talking about? Star Wars universe. I thought it was. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. On today, Janu January, June 19th, 2022, happy Father's Day to all. To all, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope um, you guys have a great Father's Day. And, um, you know, just uh, enjoy it. Enjoy it the best way you can. Okay, so that little snippet I put there, right? Okay, I want to get something out of the way, okay? I, you know, back many, you know, a few years back, before I started trying to do a channel and so on, I used to listen to a lot of channels, uh, Star Wars channels and stuff, you know, just to get news. And this is during the time when, uh, you know, Force Awakens was already out and uh, we were waiting for The Last Jedi to come out. I was just there listening to all the rumors and possibilities and so on and so forth. And unfortunately, you know, um, I used to listen to, I used to watch Mike Zero. I used to watch his stuff a lot. Uh, there was even a time when, you know, I was really into him and why, hearing, you know, the stuff that he had to say, you know, people were already saying that, you know, a lot of it was clickbait, whatever, but, you know, I thought it was just cool stuff, you know, a lot of it was theories, a lot of it was stuff he said that he found out, whatever, but it didn't matter, you know, I said, eh, you know, stuff to listen to, you know, uh, there was even a time when he got attacked by Ryan Johnson and, uh, you know, he clapped back and, you know, went after him and you know because i think he, he didn't even do a review of the last jedi and all of a sudden he got that shit from ryan johnson he came back went after him but uh yeah not, not too long ago i was listening to you know i just taking care doing some stuff and i you know his, his channel popped up and on the, you know how it comes up on the thing sometimes so i said ah, i put it on just listening to it or whatever so then i'm listening to him uh Basically, yeah, you know, his whole tune seems to be changing uh, around as far as dealing with Disney. Uh, I could have sworn I even heard this in this video. Besides the fact that he just put Reva as one of the top three characters ever, which I'm still trying to figure that fucking thing out. Uh, he backtracked on The Last Jedi and basically gave it kudos. Um... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, is, is it me or did maybe Disney reach out to this guy and probably told him, hey, you know, start giving us some positive feels. We'll, you know, we'll hook you up or whatever. You know, you did mention he has a young son and, you know, maybe that would be free tickets to go to Disney. And who, I don't know. I mean, look, I, you know, Mike Zero is selling his soul to Disney. Um, I'm just like amazed. I mean, look, I, you know, I, I know, you know, as far as like watching and stuff, then you can start seeing a lot of his stuff is uh, out of out of sky blue. You know, as far as what he been getting his information from and so on. I mean, look, I'm I'm far from a person that you can rely on information. Uh, my stuff is just basically whatever I could, you know, whatever I hear, uh, theories. You know, a lot of it, my, a lot of my stuff is always just what could be. I never say anything is facts. Um, I know I've had some complaints at one, you know, one time that somebody said that I have put some clickbait, uh, with, with my, um, uh, my thumbnails, but you know, it's, you know, look, man, it's just, I'm here. I give my opinion about certain things, what I feel it might happen, what, you know, I never say it's going to happen. I never say I, I, I have, uh, proof or I've heard from sources. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm only 98 subscribers in, man. I'm not, I'm far from, from having sources. Okay, uh, I'm just like everybody else. You see certain things, you try to figure things out and hope, you know, if, if it works out, great. You know, then you was right. If not, oh, well, don't hurt nobody. But the fact that I sat here and I listened to Mike Zero go and say, oh, yeah, Reva is the third best. I think the, the one of the best characters in the Star Wars. And, and why is everybody hating on her? And. And all this and that, and uh, the, you know, talking about the writing is great on the Obi Wan. I'm like, look, if you have an opinion that you feel that the writing is great and you love Reva, so so at it, you know. But 
don't go and put it as if it's something that you now now you now you you're you're testing the waters. You're really testing the waters. Reva is like one of the best characters ever. You know, you're really going to say that shit. Look, uh I'll go and I'll make sure to to put the link of that of that one that sh that one he put out in the description. You guys check it out. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, I was just I, look, he has some weird shit going on for a while, anyway, but I got a feeling he just became a Disney show. And unfortunately, you know, I guess this is where he's going now. He's, I guess, you know, he's going to get his little side shit from Disney. And he's just another victim to, you know, basically bending over backwards for them. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay. But uh, speaking of which, you know, because on that, on that, you know, that, that episode of, his, of what he was talking about, I guess he, he also mentioned something about Mark Hamill, where uh, he basically called Mark Hamill being him being annoying. Uh, and uh, I just found it strange. I'm like, yo, you, you basically, you know, you're 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 really poking the bear, bro. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, Mark Hamill's being annoying. Mark Hamill speaks his piece. He he tells he basically told you that the shit that was going on before was garbage. He said it in, in, in so many different ways, but he told you it was fucking trash. Ryan Johnson was an asshole for doing what he did, and he called him out on it. The fuck you. What, what, I, I don't understand, you know. And then now, you know, besides Mark Hamill now, now we got Tamil Morrison, who's also calling out the bullshit, okay. You know, these are guys who took their characters seriously, and you know, saw what what you know their arc of their characters, how they support, how they should be, and you want to go and just, I don't know. All right, so I, I, I'm just like whatever, man, whatever. But uh, there's, a, there's a rumor. Here's another rumor that's going around. Don't know if it's true or not, but it's made some headways that they were talking about Hugh Jackman wanting to be in a Star Wars project. Is he? He isn't. It's not going to be Wolverine in the fucking Star Wars, but Hugh Jackman, you know, who's to say he, he won't be? Um, you know, we don't even know what kind of character he would play. We don't know what his deal. Who knows what? It's just throw it out there. We don't have a fucking clue, but we'll just go with that. Okay, now, real quick, uh, episode five, right? Episode five of Obi-Wan. Um been a lot of back and forths on it. I mean, did it have some really cool uh, things in it? Yeah. Vader using the force to bring down that ship, being brutal as hell. Uh, you know, Reva going after him and him just basically schooling her and stabbing her. Okay, there was a lot of thing on that where they're saying, wait a minute, he stabbed her as a youngling. She survived. So she, now she's got some weird story arc about her vengeance and so on and so forth. There's a lot of little things back and forth coming about that, about how the dark side, you, dark side users tend to survive injuries better than, you know, Jedi. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, they, they, they're kind of reaching more and more with Reva. Uh, there was there's a rumor about her getting a fucking show or a spinoff or something like that. I I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. Um, we'll see what happens in episode six. They already said there's gonna be a second season. Uh, from my understanding, Reva's gonna be in that second season as well. Um, I just hope that uh, they give us you know just give give us some more stuff. That, that relates to what Star Wars is. Stop trying to, you know, sprinkle shit into into stories that are not, that are not needed. Okay, that story, that story, Reva's story, is not needed. Okay, you know, you guys are talking about how you want to do away with the uh, with the Skywalker saga, right? All right. If you're going to finish it up the way you're going to supposed to finish it up, finish it up the right way. Leave it be. Do not fucking add shit to it and ruin it if you're trying to finish it. All right? If you finish it the right way, let us be happy. And you can move on with Reva projects. You could have did Reva in, um, you know, the, the, the 
the Star Wars movies and shows that y'all wanted to do after, you know, um, Taika Waititi's movie that is supposed to be like years later and it's supposed to be nothing about nothing dealing with any of the legends or characters from before. But uh, you know, don't 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 do this. You know, look, you're still doing. Uh, you know, you got the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, you know, Tamar Morrison talking about he wants to bring the badassery back. You know, the Mandalorian season uh, season three is going to be coming out. We already know. You know, everything still has its its moments in there. Don't fuck it up. Okay, that it's it's already Aaron. Mike Zero. You're a fucking idiot. I'm going to tell you like that. You're a fucking idiot. You're a Disney shill now, and you're basically you know just licking the asshole of Bob Chapek right now. You got to be because uh, you know from what I remember. And you know, and I used to watch your 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 videos years back. You was always one that stood up to not wanting to deal with stuff like that. And you you know you you called them out on their bullshit. Now the Last Jedi, the the the, the, the movie you gave the, the the one of the worst reviews is one of the better movies. Reva's one of the best characters in Star Wars. Are you yo fuck out of here, bro? For real. All right, I'm sorry. It's good. Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, that's it. That, that's all I got to say. Um, I just hope uh, everybody's doing well. And I, let's just hope we get some good shit. All right, we got some other shows coming up. Andor. I'm actually looking forward to Andor. I hope Andor is a good show. Um, and uh, The Bad Batch. You know, hopefully we'll get some shit in there. But that's it. That's it, guys. Look, that's it. Uh, you know, like I said, no offense to anybody who does love this shit, but you know what? It, you know, I, I can't deal with bull, with bullshitters like Mike Zero, who goes and talks about now that you know, oh yeah, the Last Jedi is great, and Mark Hamill uh, is uh, is annoying, and Reva's the best fucking Star Wars character. Suck a dick, Mike. All right, that's it for now. All right, guys, this is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. Please also like and subscribe and go onto my Facebook uh, account. Look for the Sith Lords merch for merchandise. I got a bunch of shirts in there. You know, I'm trying to hook up people before the ending of this month because of, uh, you know, for free shipping. After, you know, when we get into July, uh, basically, you know, free shipping's got to be lifted. You know, we're in an inflation, okay? So just keep me posted on everything, all right? All right, guys, take care. May the force be with you.